Welcome to Maths with EJD. In this video, we still are on the topic and the subject of mathematical induction. And the question to deal with in this case is to prove, prove by induction, prove by induction that 4 raised to the power n plus 6n minus 1 is divisible is divisible is divisible by divisible by nine by nine for all n greater than or equal to one so again we go in our usual fashion so we say we have a claim and the claim, the claim is that um, 4 raised to the power n plus 6n minus 1 is divisible, is divisible by 9 for all n greater than or equal to 1. That is the claim. And then we go ahead to the base step. That is a, using the smallest value of n. At this case, I mean, in the, at this point to check. So we say that at n equals 1, which is the, the very small one, the, the least value you can use. So at n equals 1, you have 4 raised to the power 1 plus 6 into 1 minus 1. And that is 4 plus 6 minus 1. And that is 9. 9 is clearly 9 times 1. So it's cool. It's fine. So at n equals 2, which is not necessary, but I always like to do. So you have 4 raised to the power 2, 6 into 2, minus 1. 4 raised to the power 2 is 16. 6 times 2 is 12, minus 1. So 16 plus 12 is 28, minus 1. That's 27 in all. And that is 9 times 3. So that also works. So we can even say here that, therefore, the claim, the claim is true. The claim is true for the base step. The claim is true for the base step. Okay. So the next step is the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. And this is where we assume that the, the claim is true for n equals k. So we assume, assume that that n, we, we assume that the claim rather, the claim is true is true for n equals k. So that means all we can do here is to just say 4 raised to the power k plus 6k minus 1 equals 9 times anything, maybe 9p, okay? And p is an integer where p is an integer. p is an integer, okay? So that is all we can do for that. And then we move on to the inductive step, which is where we fight the last fight, you know, the inductive step, the inductive step. So at the inductive step now, now the, don't forget the, the inductive hypothesis is always useful, uh, you know, when it comes to the inductive step. So you, you, you always need to keep your eye on that inductive hypothesis because it may be what will save you at the inductive step when you probably get stuck. So look at this now for the, so for the inductive, inductive step, what we have to do is to prove. So we want to prove that the claim, we want to prove that the claim is true, that the claim is true for n equals k plus one. All right. So that means we have four raised to the k plus one plus six into k plus one minus one. Okay. And that is equal to 4 raised to the power k times 4 raised to the power 1, you know, uh, from indices, then, you know, this is 4 raised to the power k times 4 raised to the power 1 plus 6k plus 6 minus 1. So, and this is 4 into 4 raised to the power k, if you like, plus 6k. 6 minus 1 is 5. You know, sometimes, now, at this stage, it's very, uh, it's very critical what you do. Uh, because it, it can go some ways and it won't be clearly obvious 
it won't be obvious that the, the that your expression is divisible by nine. So you have to be very smart about this. Uh, okay, so what I'm go just going to do here is this. You know, if I can take away, if you look at what we have at the inductive hypothesis, uh, you know, for if you can make for four is per k the subject of formula here, we can easily replace it with four is per k. Uh, we can get whatever we get there and put it there so that we don't have four is per k anywhere again. So I keep this, right? So I can go back to the inductive step. I say, uh, okay, in fact, I can just even do this from here so I don't waste time. So from here now, we know that four is per k is the same thing as nine P minus six K plus one, you know, that's, that's clear to see. Four is per K is nine P minus six K plus one. So you transfer this and this and the signs change. So that's why we get this. So you can use this now in this expression so you can find your way. So I now say four into nine P minus six K plus one, now plus six K that was there before plus five. So we can tidy all this up and see what happens. So we have 36 P, four times nine is 36. Four times six is 24 K. That's four times six K. Then four times one is four plus six K plus five. So we can add up everything. So we have 36 P minus 24 plus six is minus 18 K, I think, yeah, minus 18 K. Four plus five is nine. And that is looking interesting now because we can say this is nine into four P minus two K plus one. Okay, so you see, this is a multiple of nine. So you see nine is clearly factorized out that way. So we can say, therefore the claim, the claim is true. The claim is true for the, for the inductive, uh, inductive step for the inductive step. And then we can make the overall claim where we have our conclusion. So we can say that the claim, the claim is true. The claim is true for all for all positive integers, or what were we given? Uh, for all n greater than or equal to one, yeah? So the claim is true for all, for all, all n greater than or equal to one, since it is, since it is, since it is, since it is true, for the base for the base and inductive steps and inductive steps and that's how it's been here if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe comment like share hit the notification bell so anytime i release a new video you get alerted then of course the comment is meant for you to tell me if you have a question you want me to solve or if there's a topic you like me to treat or there's, you know, there's a concept that you need to get clarifications on. Thank you so much for always coming by. I do not take your, your coming here for granted. See you in the next video. See you in the next video.